Welcome to the Oracle Process Accelerators demo sessions. Oracle Process Accelerators are solutions built on top of BPM that address critical horizontal and industry business processes. The solution that we're going to focus today on is PSIR, Public Sector Incident Reporting. Public Sector Incident Reporting helps public sector organizations deal with incident reporting by enabling uh, multiple ways of uh, entering incidents by citizens or by officer, resolution by well-coordinated case team, and process improvement facilitated by dashboard. Among uh, the functionality we'll be showcasing today, we will see rule-based prioritization by which uh, any incoming incident will be uh, classified and will be assigned to the right resource. We will see also how similar incidents are related so that they can be dealt as a whole set. And finally, how geomapping functionality can help uh, the responders being identified and uh, being alerted. We will start with a citizen reporting an incident using uh, his mobile device. The citizen has already selected the right information, the type of uh, incident that is reporting, and the severity, and a short description. At this point, he can also add the pictures that he has taken from his cell phone. And uh, once the picture is associated, the other thing he can do is actually to provide uh, his coordinates. His device will ask him to actually allow or deny providing uh, his location and if he's fine with that then he will uh, provide the locations will be included into the incident description. At this point the citizen is ready to submit his incident. The PSIR system returns an ID to the citizen 99 and the incident has now been uh, successfully submitted. Another citizen may observe suspicious activities and provide uh, an incident report via complete web interface rather than mobile web interface that we have seen and uh, can provide additional information, like in this case, uh, the address or the location. At this point, the citizen can submit the incident. Then another incident has been created, number 100. Let's now review how the incident is processed by the public sector organization. We'll do that by using the Oracle Business Process Composer, which is a tool that can be offered to even business people to actually monitor the process. Let's look at the BPMN model embedded into BPM. What's a BPMN model? It's the business process that we have built within these process accelerators. And here in this process model, you can see how the citizen is reporting the incident. We have seen two examples of that. And the incident can also be reported internally by the public sector organization if someone, for example, receives a call and needs to submit an incident. The next step for the incident to be assigned to an action officer. And that's something that will be done automatically by the PSIR system. The right action officer, in this case, an action officer specialized on arson, will be assigned to the case and will review the incident. And then would either approve the incident and they can also contact local responders and sign local responders. We'll demo that portion as well. Finally, there are other public sector employees, for example, the case worker and the case manager, perform additional actions. For example, they can escalate, they can assign federal authorities. At the end of the day, once the incident has been closed, it will be exported to NIEM. NIEM is the National Exchange Information Model. It's a message standard that is shared across jurisdictions and organization boundaries so that one incident can be shared across a lot of different agencies. You can find more information on NIM on NIM.gov. Let's now see what the action officer is going to do. So Jane has logged in and she sees two new incidents, the two new incidents that we have just submitted. So she opens the last one. And she sees uh, that uh, there is uh, some information that has been provided, like for example, the street address by the submitter. She can also see what incidents are related to this, at least uh, automatically related to this. She can also go back and change and, add, and create additional related incidents and uh, search for incidents and associate them together. However, at this time, uh, she is interested in dispatching some responders. So what she will do is actually look on the map 
and see what responders are more appropriate for this location. And as you can see, the Oklahoma Fire Department and the Alameda County Sheriffs are the closer responder to the incident. So what she'll do is actually assign this uh, incident to these two responders. At this point, the notifications will go out to the responders. Jane uh, moves uh, this into the next step by approving, confirming that this is a real threat. Let's now go into the shoes of uh, another employee, which is the case worker, William Faulkner. So William is next in, in line uh, compared to Jane. Jane uh, has assigned the first responders and now definitely it's time for this to be escalated. It seems like something serious. That's why William is actually going to work on it. He sees the same incident, 100. He can also perform uh, similar steps. The difference with Jane is that uh, William can uh, add the responders that are at the federal level. And so that's what it does. He assigns the FBI to this case, given that this is a, a pretty serious uh, threat, and uh, moves this into the approved state. He's done with the task. Let's now talk about the dashboards that come with uh, the accelerators. In this case, uh, with the public sector incident reporting. We usually provide two dashboards. One is more of an operational dashboard that allows you to go have real-time control of what's going on in your process. In this case, what's going on with incidents, incoming incidents. There is a streaming list of incidents. There is a number of incidents list. And uh, you can see incidents by incident type and CD. And finally, you can control the total number of open incidents and all incoming incidents. So these kind of dashboards, the operational dashboards, allow you to actually adjust your process real time and to, for example, add the resources as needed. The other dashboard that we have in general with Accelerator is a more a tactical dashboard. This has more of an historical view of what's going on. You can go back and see what is that you can change in the overall process to make things work better. For example, you can see here that assault takes more time in terms of average resolution. And so you can look into the root causes of that. And that all of this, by the way, can be drilled down to see effectively the real time cause of the issues. Here, for example, I can go into Oakland and I can see what is uh, that is coming into Oakland, also looking at the postal code and so on. So all of this uh, allows you to control historically what's going on and to make adjustments to your process. BAM is a critical component of the BPM suite, as well as of the accelerators. These dashboards are really easy to adjust and to change. We create more business indicators than actually what we display here, just to give uh, the ability to customers that want to use other business indicators to just take them and uh, create new graphs.